Hey, I just wanted to let you know that the gloss I'm wearing in this video is the Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. It's a classic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another episode on my lookbook kind of series, styling different items of clothing in my closet. Today I'm going to be styling my baggy carpenter jeans. These are a pair of jeans that I got from Brandy Melville. Um, I really love them. I feel like a lot of people have these as well, so even if you don't have the exact same ones as me, uh, I feel like this is a pretty like widespread style of jean. Like a lot of people have baggy jeans at the moment, and so I'm going to be showing you how I style my baggy jeans today. Um, but yeah, these ones I got are from Brandy Melville. They're a light blue kind of wash, maybe mid blue wash, um, with a bit of like distressing on them. Not like any like holes or anything, but like um, a wash look over it. And then they do have that little carpenter loop detail over there. Um, and so today I'm gonna be showing you a couple of different outfits that I would wear with these jeans. Um, and yeah, let me get straight into it. I also wanted to mention that these jeans, although they do fit me on the waist, they are a little bit long on me, so they will bunch up on the floor. Normally when I wear these jeans out, I do actually fold the bottoms up a little bit. Um, I could get them tailored to fit me perfectly, but I like having the versatility of being able to roll them up because I sometimes like the way it looks rolled up, and sometimes I like the way it looks all bunched up at the bottom of the pant, as you'll see when I stand on my chair. Also, as per usual, I've chucked like a little blanket over my chair so I don't damage my chair. So don't worry, when I stand on my chair, it's going to be fine. I did that intentionally. Anyway, I'm going to get straight into this first outfit now. This is a full brandy outfit. So the top is the, like, I feel like everyone has this top. It's like that pink cheetah print top from Brandy. It has this, like, um, red, uh, not red, black detail along the, um, little straps. And then it has that black bow detail in the middle, which is so cute. I hope you can see that. And it also has that little lace detail. It's pink cheetah print, which I feel like is super trendy at the moment, but... Um, also reminds me of like the 2000s, so it's super cute. I actually wasn't into cheetah print for the longest time until like maybe the last two years. It's finally grown on me and now I'm into it. Um, but yeah, I held off on the cheetah print trend for ages because I didn't used to buy them. The shoes that I chose to pair with this are my black um, and white Converse. So they're just the black plain Converse, but they have the white stripes on them, of course, because that's how Converse are. And as you can see, it kind of bunches up over the shoe. And I really like the way that looks. Like, I know a lot of people would just, like, tailor it so that it actually fits, like, properly. But I just love the way it looks all bunched up. It gives me more vibes. So, yeah, that is the first look. Now, to pair with this, I would wear a um, jacket if I got cold because, obviously, this is just a tank top and jeans. Ignore my watch. It beeps, but then it stops beeping. Like, I promise you, it will go away in a sec. So, the jacket that I would wear with this is just my plain black leather jacket. My watch will stop beeping in a second. There we go. Um, so this is a plain black leather jacket. Mine is from Dotty, and I've had it for a couple of seasons now. Still is perfect condition. Um, yeah, the Dotty pleather jackets have lasted me really well so far. I really rate these ones. Um, but yeah, I like how the black ties in with the black trim on the um, top. Also, I really like how these jeans are a little bit more cinched at the waist. They fit me really well. And so this jacket is a little bit more of a cropped leather jacket. And so I still feel like I have shape when I'm wearing these two pieces together. Um, I really like how this like cinches at the waist and then flares out. Um, I feel like it's really flattering. Also, I would wear a bag with this look. Now, the different bags I would pair with this, you could go a few different routes if you were me. Um, things I would wear, a Chanel classic flat or like a black flat bag, just, you know, black on black, it works. Even if I was just wearing this on the pink, that's cute. You know, you can't go wrong with a Chanel classic. Also, this that I haven't worn yet that I'm super excited about, um, I have a video up on my channel about this. This is my um, Hermes like little Birkin moment. So you can have the Birkin with it. It ties in with the pink. Um, this is the little Twilly, but I haven't tied it around. But it's cute too, because the Twilly is like cheetah and this is cheetah, so they like kind of go together. So imagine I've tied the Twilly on nicely. Um, that would be a vibe as well. Let's do a little dodgy job. You know, vibes. I really like this bag. I'm so excited to wear it out. Um, I have a whole video up on my channel if you'd like to see more about that bag. Or the other bag that I would probably pair with this look. Um, would probably be, I want to say maybe my Dior Boston bag, also vibes. I feel like this maybe goes for the next look more though. So yeah, probably the pink and the black for this look just because this top has like pink and black in it. So I feel like it like ties in with those tones. And I went with the black Converse over like my white Converse that you can see over there because, um, I don't know, the black Converse tied in with the black top. Oh my gosh, my watch is going off again. Please ignore it. I'm really sorry. It's just like, it means it's midday. Um, I'm filming at midday and it always beats at midday. I don't know why, but I also don't know how to turn it off. Anyway, um, it's like a G-Shock watch that my dad bought for me. It's really cute though. 
Um, I could have also worn like my creepers with this, but I wanted this to be more of a casual look because the converse I feel like a little bit more casual and I feel like this top is casual. So that's why I went with the converse over my creepers. Um, my creepers are a little bit more stompy, but the creepers look cute too with this. Doc Martens will look cute with this. Also, the jewellery I'll be wearing for probably all of this video is my Tiffany um, like thick chain bracelet and necklace combo. These I also got from DHgate and I have a video up on my channel about this Tiffany set. I love it so much. It's strong vibes, very 2000s, um, very it girl classics. So yeah, this is the first fit. Okay, so this is a lighter version of the same look. So this top is pretty much a dupe of the top I was just showing you. But I got this one from Shein. Um, and it's pretty much the exact same top except with blue. Um, and then instead of the cheetah print, it's got like a daisy print on it. If you can see, there's little daisies all over it. It has the same little bow. It doesn't have the same frill detail, but it's still super cute. Um, and it fits really well. And then I paired this with white converse instead of black converse because the top has a white detail on it. So I tied that in with like the lighter converse. Um, and then I would definitely wear this one with the um, Dior Boston bag instead because it's like all blue tones. Um, and also this is like denim on denim. I think this is a really versatile bag. Like this goes with literally every outfit, but especially this one. It's super cute. Um, but yeah, that is the next look. It's super easy. It's a little bit like the last one, but a little bit different. I know pink is not for everyone. It's definitely for me, but um, I know some people don't want a like as pink of a look. So yeah, this is the blue version. Um, if you had a bestie, you could twin like this look. And then the pink look, they'd be like really cute together because I love how it's like the same top, but like different tones and like same shoes, but like different colors. It's so cute. Anyway, this is the next look. Actually, I forgot to say as well, um, these pants are really cool because on the inside you can adjust them. So I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. There's a button and so you can pull the elastic tighter um, if you want to make these um, jeans fit your waist even better. Like um, if they're baggy on you, you can like tighten them, which is really good as well. They're like a little bit um, adjustable on the waist here. This next look is super easy again. I've just thrown on a like graphic t-shirt. This is from the um, squad tour. If you remember in like 2017, Desi and Katie from here on YouTube, they're like some beauty gurus that I'm obsessed with. And um, they did like a squad tour and came to Australia. Um, and so this was the t-shirt that um, you got at the squad tour. This is the back, it's really cute. Um, and so I just put it over the jeans and it's a super casual kind of look. Also if you can hear, the crazy weather outside, the wind is blowing. Anyway, um, if you wanted to dress this up, I think it would look really cute with some hoop earrings. I'm just wearing some studs right now, but like giant silver hoops would really tie in the vibes. Um, and I've also just worn this with my um, Doc Martens. Um, I love, as I mentioned before, how the jeans pile up over the Doc Martens. I just think it looks really good. Now, if I wanted a little bit more shape, I could also tie this top up. Um, you know, there's loads of ways to tie the top, but I'll just do it like this. So that it's a little bit more like cropped, a little bit more like, you know, shows shape a little bit more. Or you could also tuck in the top, which I think looks super cute as well. Um, again, brings a little bit more shape. But I also think that having it untucked is like a strong vibe as well. So yeah, that is the next look, just a graphic tee. Now if I was going to wear a bag with this, I would wear that bag there, the pink bag can also go to like everything in my opinion, because there isn't any colour in this outfit. Or probably, most likely for me, just the classic Chanel flat. Also, I know I keep showing it in like my lookbooks as the just one over the shoulder, but you can wear it like all the way down. That's probably like really cute as well. Like I think this is the cutest way to wear it, but I find that this is the most like practical way to wear it, like because I'm always on the run. So that's why I always have it like that. Um, if I was to pair a jacket with this, um, I just love the way the leather jacket goes with the Doc Martens. So I would pair this with a leather jacket, especially when it's tucked in just to give it a little bit more shape. Um, and yeah, with some big silver hoops this would be like a cute going out outfit just with some you know accessories you could even chuck on a like a bright lip if you wanted to like dress it up even more um just a classic jeans jacket going out outfit super easy um yeah i would feel confident wearing this this next fit i have is a scarf that i've tied around to make it into a top this scarf is just one that i got from lush oops the tag's sticking out um it's in the style called emma and i chose this scarf from lush because you can tie it a lot of ways I like to wear it as a top. You could also tuck this in if you like, but I kind of like the way it looks sticking out. Um, you could also tie this as like a headscarf. You could tie this around your bag as like a little added accessory. I just think it's super versatile. Um, I tied it into a, like I made it into a triangle. I just folded it over and then tied it at the back. And I really like the colors on this because I love the yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. And then I like the blue um, and it's got cute polka dots. It's kind of like a, a summery 
fun kind of print. Um, I also really like wearing high-waisted pants with scarves like this because it creates a really nice shape because the high-waisted pants kind of like cinch in kind of here and then that's where the scarf kind of ends and then goes down again. I don't know, it creates like a nice hourglass shape in my opinion. So yeah, this is the scarf version of the outfit. Um, I paired this with my yellow Converse because of course I had to tie in with the yellow on the top. Now I went really hard with the yellow theme. So my options for bags would either be this little blue bag to tie in with the blue. I like the tones of this blue bag with the tones on my top. It's just like a little fold over little um, pouch bag which is really cute. Of course you could also pair this with like a Chanel Classic or that like um, Dior Boston behind me. Or I also really like this with my little yellow um, kind of like side satchel kind of bag. I think that's really cute as well. And both of these you can also wear crossbody if you like on a run going somewhere. Big earrings if you wanted to like go out wearing this. Um, if you got cold here are the jackets I would wear with this outfit. Um, so the jacket number one would be just my yellow leather jacket. Now a lot of these yellow things you see go round and round in my closet and you're like, Emily, we've seen you pair so many outfits with the same pieces over and over again. That's why! It's my closet! I could re-wear my things over and over again and like repair these pieces in different combos to make different outfits or in the same combos. There's nothing wrong with re-wearing an outfit. If you ever see me wearing an outfit like this and then I re-wear it out, good. Because I, re I want to re-wear my clothes, you know? I don't just buy them to wear them one time. Uh, if you see any of my pics on the gram, it's because I felt cute and then I wanted to post a picture. So this is the like leather jacket version. Um, I really love this yellow leather jacket. It's the same one as my black one from Dottie, um, but just in yellow. I really like Dottie's leather jackets. Um, I probably would tuck the scarf in for the um, leather jacket just to keep the shape. Um, I really like this jacket, it's so cute. And then if I wanted to go like more out there, I think I haven't shown you guys this piece on my channel before, but it's one that I love. I got this from Peter Alexander, literally, I don't even know how many years ago, maybe when I was 16, and it's a giant yellow fluffy jacket. This was from their Sesame Street collection, so it gives me major Muppet vibes, um, and it's a giant yellow fluffy jacket, and I feel so comfy when I wear this. This is like kind of a lot, so like this is probably not an outfit for the faint of hearted, but I'd wear this, so this is my next fit. Um, I would probably, if I went for like the larger jacket, like this fluffy one, probably would be better with the blue bag, just because the blue bag would contrast with the jacket more. See, cute, I love it, like blue and yellow, everything. Also, this little um, bag was a gift from my grandma. Um, and also I have this little Ikea heart guy hanging off it. He's so cute, he's like, hugs. Anyway, so yeah, that is my next fit. You can also um, fold this over a couple of times. Um, let me do an example. I'm trying to figure it out. Give me a sec. If I twisted this over, I've done it before. I just have to like figure it out on the spot like that. And then you like thread it through here. You can make this into more of like a little carry bag, which I also feel like is a lot trendier at the moment to hold a little bag like this, like a little mini bag. So that's really cute as well. That's my next fit. Okay, this next look is dressed up in a different kind of way. I just paired it with a white button-up shirt. This one is from Country Road, and I love this one because it has all this, like, texture. Um, I haven't ironed it, so sorry, but you get the vibes. I love the texture on the actual fabric. Now, you can roll these sleeves up, which is something that I usually do when I wear um, this top, just because I just prefer the way that it looks when it's rolled up. It gives a little bit more of a casual vibe. Um, I'm not going to do a proper job of rolling it up, but um, yeah, you get the vibes. It's like really cute rolled up. Now, the shoes that I paired with this are my um, cowgirl boots. These are the brown cowgirl boots from the brand Rock. I actually have a whole video up on my channel styling cowgirl boots or cowboy boots or whatever. So if you'd like to see a cowgirl or cowboy boot or whatever styling video, that is live on my channel already. And um, yeah, I really like the way that, that lookbook came out. Um, now, for this, I would probably wear it untucked for more of a casual vibe, but if I wanted more shape, I could definitely, again, tuck this top in, and it's super cute that way as well. Um, bags that I would, um, probably pair with this look, um, would probably be, um, either, like, a Chanel Classic flap, just to, like, clasp up a little bit. Um, I feel like this dresses up any look, and it's so gorgeous. I also want to mention, I love the way the Chanel's, um, chain is. It's like a piece of jewellery. It was designed to be, like, jewellery of a chain. So, yeah, I really like the... Um, gorgeous chain there. This would of course look really cute as well with that um, a Dior Boston bag behind me or even like a brown bag. I really like um, this with like an LV print bag. I think that looks really cute and classy as well. I would definitely wear this with um, this Neverfull um, in like the um, kind of checker kind of print. Um, I think this looks really good. Actually this might be 
one of the pics that I put in the thumbnail. Give me a sec. Cute. Wait, let's do one like this. Love it. Um, but yeah, the jacket that I would wear with this um, would probably just be my leather jacket again because I like the way this pairs with the leather jacket and um, it just is such a classic, you know, button up shirt with the leather jacket. You cannot go wrong. Um, yeah, I'd probably go with the leather jacket for this just because I feel like that goes. You get the vibes. Um, I won't pop it on entirely, but I especially like wearing the leather jacket with the white top and just leather jacket with this. I'll put it on properly. Here we are. Okay. When I'm wearing a top with these pants with the leather jacket on top, I prefer to tuck in the top because if I don't tuck in the top, I kind of feel like I lose a bit of shape. I'll show you what I mean. Like it's not bad, but it's not like as shaped as if I tucked in the top. So I prefer to tuck in the top. I could also, I can see my boyfriend outside. <laughs> I can also um, tie this as like a tie up top like this. Wait, let me show you. Like this would be another way I'd like, you know, that's cute as well. So those are my ideas with the button up shirt. I hope you liked that vibe because I certainly did. I wear this like big hoops and like go out in this. I feel like that's a cute outfit as well. This next look is literally jeans and a white t-shirt. It's so easy. This top is from Brandy Melville again. It's just their classic cowgirl top. I feel like a lot of people have this top, but also I wanted to show you this top because it's an example of a top that is cropped, like a little cropped baby tee. Also, if you're wearing these jeans with a plain white t-shirt, I'm trying to like give you the vibes as well because this top is like white. A plain white t-shirt would be really cute with these jeans as well because like jeans and a white tee, it's a classic combo. So yeah, these um, jeans are really like cinched nicely and so um, when you wear a cropped top with it, it gives a really nice shape here. Um, here's side on, ta-da, I think it's really cute. Now I'm just wearing the same shoes as I wore with the last look, just the same um, cowgirl boots, but I feel like this look and even the last look as well would be super cute with some Doc Martens as well, but um, I'm just wearing the cowgirl boots because I was already wearing them, but Doc Martens would definitely be cute with this top as well and give a different kind of vibe or even like literally any shoes. See, this is like a jeans and white t-shirt look, so it'd go with so much. Like all the bags that I've shown you already so far today would look cute with this. Leather jackets, yellow jacket, anything would look cute with this. I do have one jacket in mind that I'd like to pair with this. I'll show you guys. Um, this is my cheer jacket. It's really cute. It's like a vintage cheerleading jacket and um, I really love it. It gives a nice vintage vibe and um, so I would probably warm this look up with this jacket instead. I think it's so cute. I love this. It's so cozy um, and I would definitely wear this out to literally anywhere. This is a really versatile everyday kind of outfit. Um, any of the bags that I showed you earlier, all of those bags would suit this look as well. So yeah, that's the next look. Um, yeah, I should probably take a little thumbnail posing pic as well. Let's do that right here. One, two, three, ding, 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 ding. Okay, that's done. Um, I love these shoes so much. They go with everything. I'm pairing a lot of stuff with the cowboy or like cowgirl boots at the moment because they are really trendy at the moment. Um, but like even when the trend disappears, I will still be wearing these a lot because they're so cute. And also, I feel like a lot of people have these at the moment, that's why I'm pairing with them. If you wanted to dress up this look even more, you could probably even wear like heeled booties with this or like straight up stilettos. I've worn these jeans with stilettos before. I mean, like I know these jeans are really casual, but everything goes with diamonds. So let me show you the shoes that I've worn with them before. Um, <laughs> I've worn my diamond shoes with these jeans before and I just really dressed them up and just the toes peeked out because the jeans are like really baggy on me and like kind of covered most of the shoes so just like the toe of the stiletto peeked out and I felt like it was a really cute look and it dressed up the jeans a lot and diamonds go with everything but like nude heels, black heels, red heels for a pop of colour, you know, get creative, have fun. Um, that's all I have to say about this look so let's go to the next. This next look is one that I'm literally so obsessed with. So I wore this corset top with the jeans and I tucked in the corset to the jeans. I'll show you what I mean. So it's a long full length corset and I just uh, put on the corset first and then put the jeans on top and so it's like tucked in. Um, something I love about corsets is like, it cinches you in so much. I'm not uncomfortable right now. It just makes you look like you have like incredible shape and really exaggerates um, the body. I feel like it's really dramatic. Um, and I love the way it looks, super comfortable. Um, I have a whole video up on my channel about um, these corsets. I have it in black, white, pink, and red, I believe. 
Um, so I have a whole video up on the corsets if you'd like to check that out. It's like a review about them. But I will also be doing a styling video about corsets coming soon because I think they're super like trendy at the moment, but also they're a classic to me. Like I know right now they're a trend, but to me corsets are a classic. So um, I would be doing a whole video on styling corsets because I wear them all the time. Um, and this is what the back looks like. I just like tied the ribbon really dodgily. There's no one here to help me. So I just did that. It's whatever. Um, the shoes that I paired with this, uh, maybe not what you'd expect. I feel like this outfit is really versatile because the top is more dressy, the pants are more casual. So depending on what shoes you pair with this, you can really take this outfit in any direction. So if you wore like, you know, Doc Martens or cowboy boots, you're gonna have more like a boots with the look or you could wear heels with this and really dress it up a lot. I went with some ballet flats because I wanted to show something different because, um, you know, I've shown a lot of like sneakers and like boots and stuff with these pants so far. So I actually think ballet flats even though they're not that trendy at the moment, they're really cute. These are my Chanel ballet flats. I have a whole video up on these on my channel as well, if you'd like to check that out as well. I feel like I'm like referencing so many different videos, but um, I really love these ballet flats. These are the nude ones. I'll show you a little close up. These are the nude ones with the black peep toe. They're a super classic style. Um, I think they're really cute. And I feel like um, Chanel flats are a staple and they always are in style. Um, even though they're like not trendy at the moment, I think they're just a classic and they add a little something to the outfit. I should probably stand on this stool so you can see it properly. Um, it's just a different vibe and you can really tell here what I meant about like my pants drag on the floor when I'm not wearing some stompier shoes, but I kind of like that look. Um, wearing it with the ballet flats makes it a little bit more casual, but it's not too casual because the ballet flats, I don't know, they do add a little bit of formality. Um, it's kind of like an odd look to some people, I'm sure, but I find this a really fun look. I really like the way the ballet flats look with these shoes. Um, I mean, the shoes look with these pants. Um, I think it's really cute and I like the way it turned out. So yeah, in terms of bags, what I would wear with this is literally anything. Again, because the top is like formal and the pants are more casual, um, I feel like you can make this more casual or formal depending on the accessories you pair with this. Like if you wore a casual bag, it would become more casual. Um, you can wear this and dress it up a bit more if you felt like that as well. Um, and yeah, the top gets um, a little bit more formal vibes because it is in that satin material. So it does dress up the jeans a little bit, but also if you wanted to wear this in a more casual setting, um, the jeans are obviously denim. And so it makes the top feel a little bit more casual and not too like over the top for other scenarios. So yeah, I really love this look. Also about the color of course the top I chose, I chose the white top because my jeans are a blue wash and blue to me is like a lighter wash of denim. Um, but if I was wearing baggy pants that were black, I would probably have gone with a black corset top. So, you know, I typically like to wear the white top when it comes to blue denim, just because I really like the way white looks on blue denim. You might've noticed on my last couple of outfits were also a white t-shirt. I just feel like white looks really good on blue. Whereas if it's like a black denim or a gray denim, I just prefer for some reason the way um, black looks on that, like a black corset more than a white corset. I do like the white corset on black denim as well, but like, I don't know, something about the black on black it just works out better for me. So that's the colour combos I would prefer to pair. But yeah, that's the look. I hope you like this one because it's a little bit different um, and I really like it. Um, here's an example. I'll just pair it with the Chanel bag for vibes. Um, yeah, dress it up with some big hoop earrings. I keep saying that, but like you really can and um, it's a fit. Okay, this next look is another really fun one. I'm super tall right now because I'm wearing my pink platformer stilettos. I love these shoes so much um, to dress up the look, but this look without the shoes is really casual. It's just like this Hell's Kitchen top that I thrifted and it's pink, so it gives kind of like a Y2K vibe. I just tucked it in. Um, I really love this top. It's definitely a um, cute Y2K kind of top and it's ribbed, so I love that as well. Um, I'll sit on the chair so that you can kind of see with the shoes, but the shoes dress up a lot and make a lot more of like a dressed up look. But um, I just put on the shoes so that you could show, so that I could show you guys what this pair of pants looks like with stilettos or like with heels because I wanted to give you an example for that. Um, but yeah, typically I would wear this with like um, the white converse that you can see over there, even the black converse, some slides, um, pink ballet flats, anything like that is probably something I would wear with this. If I was going to the dog park, I would wear this outfit with some crops. Um, yeah, this is more of a casual look for me, but I wanted to show you guys what um, pink stilettos look like with the outfit just because um, I know that like it can seem kind of intimidating to wear jeans with stilettos, especially jeans that are like more casual or baggy like this. I really like it also because um, obviously these jeans are kind of long on me and so by wearing it with stilettos, 
Um, it kind of like, you can kind of get away with not um, cropping the jeans or cutting them or anything. Oh my gosh, I almost fell off the edge of the chair. This is so dangerous. Okay. I'm trying to give you the vibe so you can see. But like, does that not give you Bratz energy? The way that the stiletto is like just peeping out the bottom. These are huge platform pumps. You don't have to go for as giant of a platform as me. Okay, I really need to get down because this is like difficult. These shoes are from Birds of Prey. Um, Heels of Prey, sorry. Um, and I actually got these ones from Depop, but you can get um, like platform pumps from anywhere. I like the brand Pleasers a lot as well. They have lots of different um, platform shoes that are super comfortable and easy to walk in. Now in terms of bags for this, I would probably wear this with the pink Birkin over there. I could wear this with that um, Chanel bag that I showed you earlier. Or even, like, I have a Victoria's Secret version of this bag. Um, it's called the Bond Street bag, and they came out with it last year, or the year before. Um, and it's just like a pink bag, so I'd probably wear this with it on the go, on the run. This is kind of like a Bratz Y2K vibe, um, because the shoes are just like, so Bratz to me. I love them so much. Anyway, this is the next fit. I hope you like it. Okay, this is the final look today. It is the most dressed up look in my opinion. I am so excited about this top. I actually haven't had the opportunity to wear it yet because after I got it, I was gonna wear it, but I was wearing some other things and then lockdown happened. So I've never actually worn this out. I'm so excited to wear this out this summer. It's the perfect little um, like bandeau kind of top and it's just diamonds. Like it's literally the most incredible material ever. I can't stop touching it. I can't stop looking at it in the reflection here in the little viewfinder. It looks even better in real life. It's just absolutely magical. This top is from Meshki and it just clips in the back like that. So there are these elastic straps and it's actually quite secure. Um, you could wear like a little um, stick on bra underneath this. If you want to hear anything about like stick on bras and things like that, I actually have another video up on my channel all about the kinds of stick on bras I go for and stuff. And of course I paired these with my diamond shoes because Diamonds go with diamonds. I mean, diamonds go with everything, but these are the perfect shoes to go with this top. They're literally the same material. I'll take it off toe so you can see up close, but like they're literally the same material. Like how could I not? Um, it's just stunning. So this is a fully crystal mesh top. Um, and yeah, I will do a full video on crystal mesh coming up soon. I just haven't like gotten around to it, obviously. I feel like in this video, I'm referencing a lot of videos that I have made or haven't made. Um, it's just because I have made a lot of videos and I will be making lots more videos. So um, yeah, I will be doing an entire video styling just crystal mesh coming up soon, but you could also pair these pants with like a top that's a little bit more long. Like there are crystal mesh tops like this that kind of sit more like a triangle shape. Those are really cute too. Um, any crystal top would go with these jeans. Um, but yeah, these jeans are like, seem as pretty casual because they are carpenter jeans, but I just wanted to show you guys lots of ways that you could dress them up so they're not just like a casual item because these jeans can be dressy and you can make them into lots of fun things in your closet. Also, especially I like to wear tighter tops with the baggy jeans because like, you know, little top big jeans, big pants, what's that thing they're saying? You know what I'm talking about, little top big pants combos. So yeah, that is my final look. This is my most dressed up look out of the lookbook, I believe. Um, and I hope you like it because I love it. Um, you could dress this down, of course, if you wanted to wear like um, the like Doc Martens with it. I'll pick them up, show you. Like that, or um, yeah, any other like heels you could pair with this, or any other boots you could wear the Converse. It's really easy. Um, dress it up and dress it down. Diamonds go with everything. That's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What was your favorite outfit with the jeans? Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I upload all the time. That's the full look. I'll catch you next time. Toodles.